We have a large department of psychiatry here at CHA and we provide a full spectrum of behavioral health services for mental health and substance use conditions. We have the largest inpatient service in the state for a general hospital with 156 beds. Our model here at CHA is different from other places in a couple of important ways. We are a safety net organization, healthcare organization, which means that we have the privilege and the responsibility of caring for all patients regardless of their ability to pay and their insurance. And we serve communities that have large numbers of people living here, have immigrated here from other countries. English is not their first language, they may not speak English, and uh, we have a mission to serve uh, people from these communities and to provide the best possible care to them. CHA implemented uh, behavioral health care integration in primary care a number of years ago as the evidence was accumulating that uh, Providing uh, behavioral health care in primary care resulted in better outcomes and improved access for patients. We improve patient satisfaction, we improve outcomes, reduce cost, and uh, in many ways uh, reduce stigma as well. We have uh, clinicians and behavioral health care partners in primary care who speak Portuguese, Spanish, Haitian Creole, uh, so that they can relate better to patients and serve their needs. Marcia came here four years ago uh, to, to do a treatment, Paxson treatment, because in Brazil it's very difficult. Sem saber se eu ia melhorar. So I left my life in Brazil, my husband, the church, uh, not knowing if I was going to get better. She also very involved in the church activities mm -hmm. in Brazil, so when she moved here she lost the social support. After she came, she brought light to the room, you know, and then she said, oh, I, I made new friends here. This is my new home. Like, she was so excited. She is amazing. She became one, one of the leaders in the group. I've always did, you know, uh, craft uh, my whole life. And I feel very comfortable among people where I can teach and learn from. When you think about I have goosebumps because you say, wow, this is a wonderful process. You really see how people got, got connected. Making art reward pathway in the brain and reduce stress, low anxiety, improve mood. So art connects people, right? Makes a connection and allows us to express ourselves. Uh, because the feel good effect, art is a powerful tool, it's a great tool to help with self-care and mental health. We are so happy to be here at the CHE in the primary care and be able to bring this to our patients. E agora o grupo do Char de Arte. Uh, CHE has been great for me because of the, the providers, the therapists and now this group. I made this for, it's like a remembering, you know, for a uh, deaf uh, friend. Linguagem de sinais, né? And it, yeah, it shows here the uh, wow. sign language. I love you. In many ways, people uh, need to be admitted to uh, inpatient facilities because we weren't able to get them care earlier in the course of their illness. And that's very unfortunate. So it speaks to the need for these community behavioral health centers. It speaks to the need for improving access to outpatient care. And it speaks to the need for prevention, which is an important priority as well. But when Patients get to the point where the condition is so acute and serious that it's impairing their ability to function in the community, to take care of themselves, to take care of children or people that are res they're responsible for, or they need to be uh, in a safe place where they uh, are protected from risk to themselves or others, uh, then an inpatient facility becomes the best choice of care. I met Carm in, I think it was January, and when she came onto the unit, um, I saw someone who had a lot of strength but went through a curtain crisis at the time and was trying to escape a tough situation. And all I wanted to do was give her hope 
My husband, when we were married, had a temporary green card so he could work for a few years in the United States. And what happened was that I didn't fill out the paperwork correctly. But I didn't really realize that until it got to the point where I had to make a decision. Is he staying or is he going? And I couldn't make that decision. I just was so frightened. So what happened was that I had a bottle of Trazodone that was supposed to help me sleep, and I just took the whole bottle. And at that time, I know she was struggling, um, and I just wanted to just be there, be present, make sure that whatever it is she needed, I wanted to help provide that for her. I just felt like I was in a straitjacket, and I had to burst out, and that's what um, the 25 days and the psych ward did with proper support did. It made me realize that it's good to ask for help. There are people who are willing to help you. I feel like whenever a patient comes on the unit, it's definitely, it takes a whole village. <laughs> with every person that Harm interacted with, I think was showing her compassion and trying to help her meet her needs. They wouldn't spend 10 or 20 minutes with me. They'd spend a half hour, 45 minutes, sometimes an hour or even more, like two hours if they had the time to really talk to me. We wanted to empower her um, and let her know that she does have this voice. I'm very happy with the results. And I'm very happy with the support team that was around me. If it wasn't for them, I would still be in a miserable place. It was just an amazing experience to, to see her grow um, and become so strong and realize the strength that she had, that she did not realize she had. I'm back to my normal self. I'm enjoying life and my hope for my future is just enjoy the rest of my remaining years on earth and to make people as happy as I am. We're very excited to be able to open the neurodevelopmental unit at Somerville. This addresses a, a critical need in the state because there's only one other unit in the state like this. Uh, this unit serves children and adolescents who have complex needs. Karim is, I was diagnosed by autism since he was like two years. Karim is non-verbal and yeah, he is a behavior. He has challenges. Like the older he gets, the worse they become. Living in an apartment with a kid with autism, with two other children, the young ones, it was really, really hard for us, you know. I see that I saw the disconnection from his sisters and him. Like they there was a time they hated him. He was physically attacking them. It was heartbreaking as a parent, you know. You don't see him like a human being anymore. Sorry to say that, but I was feeling disconnected from my son. And it really hurt me. Sometimes you see him as like an animal. And it's sad. I could not take it anymore. But I thank God, I found Cambridge Hospital helped me like to re reconnect with my son. I met Kareem in July last summer, and at that time Kareem had presented to the Cambridge Hospital Emergency Room and knew right away with the messages that I got from the emergency room team, this is one of our kids. At that time we didn't have a bed. There's a, a boarding crisis in emergency rooms statewide. We don't have enough psychiatry beds to meet the youth mental health crisis need. Thankfully, when August rolled around, a bed did open and then he got to come over to the Somerville campus and really meet the full team and get the full benefit of the types of treatment that we believe uh, can help stabilize youth like Kareem. They really helped him so much. I saw the big difference. Right away I saw the difference. I said, oh my God, is this my son? Every time I came, I said thank you to the doctors. I could not believe my son was getting better right away. What we believe as a program is that it's not any one individual discipline's skill or expertise that is the magic bullet. It's actually this collective multidisciplinary action of all of us caring together that is what makes kids do better. Once we had his speech generating device, things immediately started to improve. He was able to let us know what he was thinking and feeling and make requests and just that small thing, it's actually not small at all. 
um, it made a huge difference. All the while, what's happening, not just to focus on how we're supporting Kareem, our social work team and our case management team are holding the whole family, actually. They offered me with uh, counseling as a parent, and they offered uh, sibling support counseling, and my daughter enjoys it so much. One of my daughters, she's still uh, attending. She loves it. That was a big part of the success story in my mind was getting to a place where it felt like we weren't just treating Kareem or helping Kareem, but we were focused on supporting the whole family. My experience was like very hard before, but I'm happy right now. I'm happy I got my son back. CHA helped me out, like I said, to reconnect with my son.